back to my channel Button and Pip. I'm Adele and my channel is all about my dressmaking journey. So if that's something you enjoy, please subscribe and have a look back at my previous vlogs. Now I'm popping on today to talk all about my May makes. Um, this year I didn't really join in Me May May um, as such because if everything that's going on, some days I admit I didn't get my hair done, didn't do any makeup, just chuck something on and um i didn't really feel up to it but i managed to get some sewing done so that's the good thing about may now i've got four projects to show you and the first one um i did this i whipped this up yesterday super quick so let me first of all talk about it so it's going to be my next simple sew blog post and it is this juliet tie back blouse and it's a perfect beginner pattern absolutely perfect so it only has three pattern pieces. The front and the back are exactly the same. And then it's got a facing and then a tie. So on the picture there, it shows the tie at the back. But I had a go at the back and I've had a go at the front and I prefer the front. So let me show you. See if you can see this. But it's just perfect for a beginner. So it's almost like a slash neck here and it's got grown in sleeves and they're really nice and big and roomy and then this tie so let me show you that tie so the tie is like this so it's actually a really really loose fit so this is the extra small and the pattern doesn't actually um give you um any body measurements it only talks about the finished garment and I was talking to a friend who made, I think she made the medium and she said, Adele, you'll be able to go for the extra small. So I made it, I'm normally a size 10 to 12, more, yeah, more of a 10 slash 12. And this is more than roomy. So it should tie up at the back there. But what I do is I bring it round and then tie it here at the front. And I just like that feature a little bit more and it kind of brings it all the way in so it's it's lovely now this fabric was kindly gifted to me for this blog post from cloth spot and even though the pattern talks about having rayon polyester blends sat, uh, blends satin silk or even crepe so a really drapey material i didn't really want a drape a, a material that's going to look too fancy because i want to wear this like i've got just with my shorts just with my jeans so i went for this which is a cotton lawn from cloth spot i'll put links all down the bottom to where you can find this and i love it it reminds me a lot of um some of the liberty prints when i went to liberty in london some of their cotton lawns at the top have got prints just like this it's absolutely gorgeous and it whizzed through the machine it was perfect going through so and it didn't fray so it's really great for a beginner so yeah but i'm going to be writing this blog post up really really soon and then it's going to be on the simple so website so please look out for that that's going to be coming soon so like i say that whizzed up within an hour i got the fabric and the pattern in the morning the pattern went straight into the wash no not the pattern that would be a disaster the fabric went straight into the wash and then I cut my pattern out and I had a quick hour because my husband's back at work on uh, my sewing desk. So that all, I knew it had to go away. So I quickly whizzed it up and I love it. I love it. So it's going to be my relaxing outfit today because it's so nice and warm and it's going to keep me cool. Right. Well, it's a real summer fest with my makes because the next make, oh my goodness, Again, I fell in love with the fabric. So this fabric is some viscose jersey from Sew Your Own Wardrobe. Just look at the print. How amazing is that? So they were closed um, due to regulations and things. And they had a dress in this fabric in their window. And it was just sitting there. And every time we went on our daily walk, I walked past and I was just falling in love every day more and more with this fabric. Then Emma has popped in and she's now opened online orders. So straight away, I was like, yes, I need that fabric. She dropped it up at my door because bless her, she only lives around the corner. Well, not around the corner, just over there. 
and I, I got straight onto it because I knew exactly what it was. They had done a wrap dress. I'm not sure the actual pattern that they had in the window, but my wrap dress was the kilo wrap dress that I used. So here it is. And again, it looks very, very odd, this pattern, because it's got these huge side wings with these big ties. But I'll pop some uh, pictures up and some videos of me in it. But I absolutely love it. Now, the pattern is a maxi pattern, but I've never made it as a maxi. I've always made it as a knee length. So what I do is I cut the pattern off where the back slit is and then just take that as all the way around. And it comes to just below my knee, so it's perfect and it's lovely for work. Now, the only issue I had this, with this pattern, I don't remember having this issue last time, maybe I did, but just totally forgot, was the armholes are absolutely huge. Like, you could see my bra, it was just, no. And I'd, I'd gone up to the notch, I don't know why. So I should have tried it on before I overturned the arm pieces, but I didn't, rookie error. So I had to unpick, sew up, close up that armhole a little bit more, but yeah, I absolutely love that. So that's been on and off as soon as the it comes out of the wash. Now, this pattern, I was actually really excited because it's com it's not normally a pattern that I go for. I don't normally go for loose fitting, sort of whimsical or uh, anything like that. But I saw this fabric and then I knew exactly what dress I wanted to make out of it. So... This is the fabric first, which is this beautiful Irish linen in this lilac. So it's a lilac with some white stripes. Hopefully you can see those white pin stripes. This was from the Dab Hand um, fabric shop over in Northern Ireland. And the story of this fabric actually is it's milled just down the road from the shop. So I, I kind of love that, the fact that it has a unique story about it. So it's Irish linen from County Erin and I think I got three meters of it. Now the reason why I did this pattern is because of the linen. So let me quickly show you the pattern. It is the By Hand London Hannah dress and the the sample that's on um, the actual pattern is some linen. Well if that makes sense, the sample, the pattern that's on the picture that sells the pattern Anyway, it's made out of linen and I've always fancied copying it in some kind of way. So yeah, I found this beautiful linen and it is a wrap dress. It is a wrap dress. It's not a faux wrap dress, a complete wrap dress with a gathered skirt. Now, there is three options of sleeves on this pattern. So you've got the full bishop sleeves, which would be amazing in some really drapey viscose. Then it had um, just a normal short sleeve. And then there was a third version of these tulip sleeves. And I hope these show up well, but I absolutely love them. Now, this is where I got a little bit confused because the instructions said the front piece went over the back um, on the tulip skirt. But on the picture of the top that has the tulip skirt, the not the tulip skirt, the tulip sleeve, the back piece went over the front. So it got a bit confusing when I was attaching that piece. So when I um, when I attached it and then I looked at it and tried it on, I realised it was the wrong way to how the pattern was telling me to do it. But I really like it this way. It's a nice feature. I think either way, for an all back, it would look lovely. And I, I absolutely love this dress. And it's got pockets. Love a good pocket. But yeah, it's not my usual style. It's very loose, very boxy, but I just feel really comfortable in it. And it looks like we're going to have a lovely summer. So I think I'm going to get lots of wear out of this one. So, yeah, actually, there's a bit of a thing going on this week, uh, month, isn't there? Tie, tie, tie. So, yeah, I, I seem to be going for subconsciously going for patterns that pull in at the waist like a tie. I don't know. But, yeah, absolutely love that dress. Oh, it's lovely. Right, and I finally got round to finishing my daughter's jumpsuit. So I talked about this last uh, month. My, I made my other daughter one in that seersucker and I had this one cut out and I was waiting for some elastic to come. So the elastic finally arrived and I, she loves it, I love it. It's a win, win, win. But yeah, it, it's a size 10 
and she is a 10 which is she's quite tall so I was a little bit worried because I made this pattern for her last year and it fits her still but I was a bit worried that it might be a bit too small but it, it's fine it has a, uh, a centimeter and a half seam allowance and I think actually yeah looking at the trousers I only took it to a centimeter so that's maybe giving her a bit more wiggle room growing room in this but I absolutely love it and I put a pretty little label on from Kylie and the Machine just to make it extra special so I had to rescue this from the washing pile and the ironing pile before she found it to put it on because she probably would have put it on today so that I could show you but yeah that's been a, a nice month actually um what else have I been up to well I've been making some face coverings I use the Mimi G style face coverings because my grandma and granddad wanted some and my auntie and uncle so I've got some of those done and I am so close to finishing my knitted jumper that I started almost two years ago. Um, hold down, let me go and get it and I'll show you what. Here it is. Now, it's my first ever adventure into knitting myself a jumper and I found a really easy pattern on Etsy and it just, the front and the back and the sleeves are all in one piece and I think that's the problem because it's been going on forever. So here we are so far. So I've got one front piece or back piece, the other one done. The sleeves are there. The neck hole is there. And I, I, this last piece here has to be 15 centimetres. So I've probably got halfway, so seven centimetres left to do. And then I need to work out how I attach it all and sew it all up. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge because, I've, like I say, I have never, ever made myself a jumper before knitting but I have to admit I got to a point that it got tucked away forgotten about and then because we, we've all got more time on our hands I got it out and as you can say I'm not a fan of it because it's taken so long and I really loved the colour initially but now I'm kind of a bit like mm, I think because I've just seen it too much but yeah hopefully by the end of June this will be done and even though it's completely inappropriate for the season I may be wearing it on our next vlog I don't know but oh so if I ever say I want to knit myself a jumper again please tell me not to do it because this has been a bit of a pain of my life Oh. anyway thank you ever so much for watching um i hope everybody is safe and well and enjoying all the lovely sunshine that we've been having and thank you ever so much again for popping along and i hope to see you again soon bye bye <music>